Alright guys, looking at this mixer, it's from a company called Intimidation. So known as the Intimidation Blue. It's a 19 inch rack mount analog mixer. Now, for all the people who've maybe just started DJing, a little bit of history. Prior to digital mixers, every single mixer out there was analog. So, uh, and 99% of them were made predominantly for vinyl turntables. So you did get the proper true rumble and hum from a piece of vinyl. Of course, most mixers today are only digital. This guy here was analog. Now also, one of the main features of this guy is that it had original kill switches. The first mixer to ever have kill switches. Prior to that, you used to have to buy a little sort of appliance that you stuck on the front of it, and they had the kill switches on them. So the company that made this thought, you know, we, DJs have told us what we want, we're going to do it, which is near enough exactly the same that happens today. If you think that these mixers out there, the new ones, are designed and built by people who just think of what they want to put on them, that's incorrect. They may make them, but it's the people out there who want certain features. And these people who design the mixers are the ones who put those features into the mixers. So of course, mid-90s when this was made, that's what they did. They put kill switches in a mixer. So this was revolutionary beyond, beyond comprehension. It was like, wow, we can now take away the mid, the bass, and the top, or we can take away the whole damn lot. Right, the tune you're listening to, by the way, is Noise Floor, <coughs> excuse me, the Noise Floor, and then we're gonna bung in this guy here on the other side, ICR, Wales of August. I thought, we're in Wales, and it's the middle of the winter at the moment, and wouldn't it be nice to be August? But there you go. simple but there are some really nice features we've got punch in and punch out so for example with a crossfade on the side that's playing if I hit punch out you actually punch, punch the track out and then punch in crossfade on the other side you punch in all right there is a company now who've got a load of these guys they're called why buy new and if you're watching this video when I upload it then go and check them out but Sadly, maybe if you're watching this video in a year or so, they might have all gone. Now, I'm sure there are loads of these out there, but they're probably knackered, being used and abused. They have got a load that are brand new in the boxes. At the back, you've got plugs for vinyl turntables and CDs, but just two. You notice it's just a two-channel mixer. No headphone socket. So it's probably not that good for, say, a mobile DJ because you can't use your microphone. We've got an effect style here. Now, there are no internal effects, but you can add an effects unit to it. That's your monitor volume, so that's the equivalent of like a booth monitor. That's your master. Pre-fade here are the equivalent of your trim. So a normal conventional mixer nowadays, you'd have trim and then you would have uh, treble, mid and bass. Here, we've got bass, mid and tops across there. Pan control, effects level for this side, and then X and Y, this is for your headphones. So if you want to monitor the right hand side, you go to Y, monitor the left hand side, you go to X. And again, if you go in the middle, you know, you can get a sort of a good idea of what's playing on both sides. Headphones, volume, and the headphone input. There you go. It's called the Intimidation Blue. I'll try and bung in the description as much information on this guy as possible. But go and check out the link and see what you think. Oh, that rhymes. Okay, fair enough. Ah. And it's quite ironic, isn't it? You know, here we are using this old school, and then we've got a set of Pioneer 2000 Nexus as well. So old meets new. But, like it. Alright, nice one, practice and enjoy. <laughs> 